the University of Auckland in Auckland, Aotearoa, which is what we call New Zealand. Um, it's a comprehensive university, you know, medicine, law, engineering, science, business, fine arts, humanities, education, social work design, uh, 45,000 students and staff. Times Higher Education has just recently done its first uh, ranking of universities by impact on society, in which they look at how the universities actually land in the world and make a difference to the UN 17 Sustainable Development Goals. And um, the first time out of the blocks and we're the, the highest ranked in the, in the world, which is um, really quite something for us, very proud of. Well, in 2017, uh, ours was executive led and sort of top down driven. Uh, we had having a very fine, enthusiastic leader by the name of Andrew Crean, who, um, who uh, decided that this is what we were going to do. We were going to start working with RPA. He had seen enough about it, he understood enough about it. He built robots with his children, you know, this is the thing that he was into anyway, and he was able to influence so that we actually started working in mid-2017 um, to, to do a beauty parade with vendors. Of course, we found the most beautiful UI path, that was easy, um, and then started working together to actually start, um, you know, to, to deliver our automated processes from there on. But this is some one of those rare in instances where um, it, everything exceeds the expectations and we were just having a wonderful time. So where's the skills? You know, where are we going to get the people? There aren't any and who's going to do that? And so we thought, well, okay, well, this can be one of those very rare instances, I think, where actually the professional side of university steps forward, helps the academia get, um, get some uh, courses and delivery prepared. While we were doing that, then we heard a little bit from the distance and James was saying these guys over there I think you should talk to these guys they said something about academic academic something and there was the academic alliance so of course we managed to um, we were very lucky that we didn't have to create all the content because UiPath created an excellent content these people are really quite special and they're just uh, just finishing now so they've just finished meantime um, perhaps more interestingly because that's what we should be doing as university right Absolutely, we always should be, of course, teaching things, right, fine, um, to our students. But we've also found that uh, there's, a, you know, there's a great opportunity to take this and help um, lift all of New Zealand society. Uh, so um, by chance, we again, we, we, we connected with the right people in UiPath who, um, who had a course for youth. Youth thought Automation Youth, and that was um, ready for beta and for trialling, so um, we had this delightful experience where um, a group down in South Auckland who look after um, who look after you know, disadvantaged youth and you know and uh, trying to get them technical skills and trying to because they don't even have access in their own home lives and um, and we, we hooked them up with uh, your, your wonderful people in Romania and so we had these learning designers and everybody on this wonderful wavelength where people just wanted to do the right thing and and it's wonderful. And I guess that's because um, the area, you know, it does engage a lot of people and people are excited by it. Um, and so you just find those people and then it doesn't take so much time. Okay, so what, what, what will that look like? What will it look like when we've got society, all the students, everybody familiar with RPA? Well, I'm thinking of aut automation and AI because the way you're, you're bringing it together, I, for me, it's, it's so great because people who don't understand what AI uh, is will find out a little bit and how to access that via the RPA. So that's a wonderful story. What will it look like in the future? Look, we'll know we've got somewhere when everyone looks at UiPath RPA, this incredible bit of technology and tool, and everybody just goes, oh yeah, that. But like Excel. So when they go, when they find it as boring as Excel, we know we're there because it's got to be part of just your toolkit, you know? It's like, it's your hammer. You don't want to make, and it's very much like that thing, you don't want to turn everything into a nail, but you've got to have your hammer because there's lots of things to use that for. And so in the future, what that will look like will be people, um, people will have absolutely fully acquainted with that. Now, not everyone, of course, will be able to use it. That doesn't matter. Nobody, not everyone's very good with a hammer. Doesn't matter, but you know where to get somebody with a hammer. And you know if you need to use a hammer, that's when you need to use a hammer and what it'll look like once you've done it. So that will be where we get to. And then what will it be like for humanity? Ah, imagine, 
You know, again, imagine. So the first part being take out all the dross. So that'll be the next five years. Okay, then we're kind of living this dross-free life. So then it becomes interesting. Is you know, then we're starting to just build fresh. I've got no idea, but I hope I live long enough to find out. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs>